Hello and welcome to this incredible Dolby Atmos 7.2.2 home cinema room that also has a 5.1.2 media room built in. Let's go and have a look around. This fantastic Moroccan themed room is one of the coolest media rooms and cinema rooms I have ever seen. It's five meters by five and a half meters. So if you want to watch a film at the night or a big sporting event, by the press of a button, the TV closes up, the projector opens out and you've got a 110 inch screen research screen to look at. In the main cinema, we've got 7.2.2 and in the media room, we've got a 5.1.2 fully overhead, which while not the perfect solution, is a great compromise when done properly. This is the first in our Behind the Distributor series. We're gonna have a look around at the cinemas and showrooms all around the country that our distributors have that normally you, the viewers, would not get to see. This is in the Pulse Cinemas showroom. I wanna say a big thank you to Simon and all the guys here at Pulse Cinemas for letting us come in and have a look. As we said at the beginning, this room has got not one, but two fantastic AV systems in it. Let's go over the cinema room part of it first. This starts with the processing by the Anthem MRX 1140. Not only do they sound good out of the box, but they come with arc calibration. And that is a microphone, a proper stand, and all the software you need to plug into your laptop and calibrate the room. From the Anthem amplifier and processor, we're feeding into the Paradigm speakers. Behind the acutely transparent screen, we have the CI Elite E3s, and that's for the left, center, right channels. For the surrounds, we have the Pro 80 in walls, and for the Atmos channels, we have the Pro P80Rs. By using the same brand of speakers throughout, you can guarantee the timber, which is the sound they produce, will match throughout us. So really important, in particular with dialogue, as someone's moving around a room, the voice doesn't change from speaker to speaker. To back it all up, to give us that low end rumble and those big explosions, we have the Seismic 110. They can produce a huge amount of power from a very, very small space. The projector here is the SIM2 Crystal, which is a 4K UHD HDR projector. That's then projecting onto the Screen Research horizontal motorized masking screen. Now we've covered these before and they're great screens. They work really well and they are acutely transparent. Now decor mask is a, another screen that comes down in front of the projector screen. And the reason we use that is in a space like this where it's gonna be used for multiple things. You can have your favorite artwork, be it a family portrait, a wedding photo, your favorite football team to cover that screen so you don't just have a big white wall. The second system in this room is the media room system. This again has an Anthem, but this time the MRX740 processor. That is going into the in-ceiling Pro 80s. Now a lot of people are gonna be thinking, oh, you can't do in-ceiling speakers at a proper surround sound, but you can. It's not the perfect solution, but sometimes it is the solution to a problem. So if you want a good surround sound and you don't want to have speakers on walls or big sound bars or anything, by placing them in the ceiling and using something like the Pro 80s, which have an angle driver, you can get a really good effect out of it. The screen that's used in the media room section is a 65 inch OLED screen, which looks brilliant but you don't always want to see it, especially if you've got the cinema part of the room on. So when it's off, the panels come together and the TV disappears and it just completes that media wall. Hiya, we are here with Simon from Pulse Cinemas. Simon, thank you so much for showing us this brilliant space. So the cost of the actual, just the tech then. Right, the if I was to pick up all the boxes and drop yeah. them off at your customer's house, he's looking at 48,000 retail for the kit that's gone into this room. So if I was to put a price on this room as a, an entirety, mm. it's 150,000 pound more, so it's 200,000 pound spend. Yeah. But 150,000 of that is spent on the furnishing in the room, yeah. and the 50 is spent on the, the kit, kit itself. Either side of the main cinema screen, you've got glass shelves. Now, you put glass shelves in somewhere. The subwoofers are right next to it. Yeah, right? exactly, they're literally underneath it. <laughs> and then you put trinkets on it, and nice ornaments, like you have in your normal lounge. Yeah. You crank this system up, this place is gonna sound literally like a china shop, <laughs> as it was gonna tinkle and rattle <laughs> away. 
It is a, it's a clever idea, but go on, how, tell us, explain, how did you stop this? I love tiny, this. lots and lots of little <laughs> tiny glue dots. Once we'd built the room and we were solid on there, the reinforcement of all of the joinery work, that's why it was good that we worked with a really solid joinery company. Everything is just built perfectly, fits perfectly, comes together perfectly, so that, yeah, issues like resonance, we were able to address at the build stage and yeah. not as an afterthought of right we've built the room let's turn the system on oh hang on that's rattling so yeah we were really able to kind of combat it as we went along the process this is the rack space this not only powers the media room that we're looking at but also another two cinemas down here at Pulse Cinemas. It's an incredible display even leather finished to control this dual room space they need is a control system, and this one uses RTI. This is their T3X touchscreen remote control, and the difference between, say, Crusher Home and Control 4 is that interface is completely customizable. Very, very powerful, but does take a lot more time to set up. We've covered Kaleidoscape in the past, but this is a Kaleidoscape install. There are three Stratos, as well as a disc vault and a switcher. This gives you the best of both worlds by keeping your old digital physical format, which are the DVDs that you put into this carousel, as well as the newer 4K UHD HDR that you download directly from their servers. With this many players, you can send different signals to different parts of your house, apartment, or super yacht, depending on where you happen to be at the time. An aspect of this room that could be so easily overlooked is the lighting but here they've got it just right. This is not a room to work in, and so they've not done a great big central pendant light that fills the room. Instead, they've focused on adding detailed lighting to really enhance the finesse in the room. So be it the low level lighting under the settees, the spotlights over the shelving, the custom made hanging pendants, they are gorgeous way of enjoying and enhancing this room. By using the Lutron lighting system they've got and the Palladium keypads, it allows you to easily flick from whatever you're doing in here, be it watching a film, watching some sport or reading. This is the first in our Behind the Distributor series. We hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you like our channel so you get to see the next ones. And if there's anything you'd like to see in future videos, drop it into the comments below and we'll do our best to get back to you. Till then, see you soon. Bye.